Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verses 3 to 4 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. A house is built by wisdom and becomes strong through good sense. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? Speaking about how we need to build our lives. What did Jesus say? Jesus said the wise man builds his house upon the rock. The wise man builds his house upon the truth of the word of God, upon the wisdom of the word of God, upon the principles of the word of God. A wise man builds his house, builds his home upon Jesus, keeping Jesus at the center of his home. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that is how we need to build our homes, build our lives, build our families, and, and all these kinds of things, family. We need to build it on the rock, on the truth of the knowledge, of the wisdom of the word of God. What does this portion of scripture say? It says a house is built by wisdom. In other words, good and godly wisdom is what enables us to build that house, to build our lives with godly wisdom. And how do we gain godly wisdom? By asking the Lord to give it to us, by seeking it in his word and in his presence and all these kinds of things. And he will impart us. He will give it freely to us if we ask family for wisdom. And, and the, the Bible says that the beginning of of wisdom, the beginning point of knowledge is a fear of the Lord. That's speaking about a reverential respect and a love for the Lord. So when we love the Lord, the Lord will start imparting wisdom and imparting knowledge to us so that we can build our house, as it says here. And I, I like what it says that it becomes strong through good sense, because it's all good and well that we have all the knowledge and we have all the wisdom. But if we don't have good sense or common sense, we won't be able to apply the wisdom and knowledge that we've received. So our house is built with wisdom. It becomes strong through common sense. And then it speaks about knowledge and it says through through knowledge, its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. The knowledge, the wisdom, and all these things that the Lord gives to us will give us the principles in life that we need to build a successful life, to build and live a godly life, to apply God's God's principles in his word about making wealth and making riches and living the abundant life. And as we apply these things, as we apply this knowledge and wisdom, we will then start seeing money coming in and we'll thinking, be thinking up of business opportunities and we'll be fulfilling God's will for our lives. And we will live the fullness of the life that the Lord wants us to, family. But it all comes from receiving knowledge from receiving wisdom from the Lord and having the good sense that we need to apply it in our lives, family. We, we can't live the fullness of the abundant life that Jesus wants us to without these things because Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and life abundantly. That's a promise in the word of God that we can stand on, but we need to do our part. We need to apply what's being spoken about in this portion of scripture by having wisdom, by having knowledge and applying it in our lives. And as we do this family, we will go on to live the blessed, prosperous and abundant life that the Lord wants us to. So I want to encourage you family each and every day to ask the Lord to give you wisdom, to ask him to impart his knowledge to you so that you can take these things and apply these things in your life so that you can go on to live the life that he wants you to. And as you do these things, family, watch the great and mighty works that the Lord will accomplish in you, through you, and for you. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to apply this, Lord. Help us each and every day, Lord, to seek you, Lord, to seek and pray for your wisdom and your knowledge in our lives, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that as we pray for these things, Lord, you freely grant them to us, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that once you've given these things to us, Lord, that you that we will be faithful stewards of them, Lord, that we won't just sit on them, Lord, but that we'll take them, that we'll apply them in our lives, Lord, so that we can go forward, Lord, to apply that wisdom, to apply that knowledge, to build our house, to build our house strong, Lord, to build our lives strong on the foundation of your word and your knowledge, Lord, so that we can go forward to live the blessed, prosperous, and abundant life that you want us to, Lord, that we can accomplish during our lives here on earth everything that you want us to, Lord, and we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.